Okay, so we all have kids that uh, like to re-alter, reinvent things that we purchase along the ways. And so these hang on the wall, so I want them to look decent, right? <laughs> um, so what I'm doing is I'm taking this part off. And we're going to reupholster this little stool. It's super easy. People think, oh no, I have to throw these away when you absolutely don't. On the back of this, there's these little uh, clips kind of thing. It's just like this little plastic thing that uh, kind of brings through. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to hit them with this little hammer, a trusty hammer that we have. I have and so there it is <laughs> it's that simple and all this fabric here is just held on with staples I'm not even gonna worry about taking those staples out I'm just gonna um, actually rip this off and um, These are my junk scissors. Don't use your good scissors for this because uh, you'll be sad when they don't work later on. I was using kitchen scissors, but this pair um, was ruined by my children. And uh, so I just used them for little stuff here. See, and here's those things. And we'll put those back through later. Now I'm just going to kind of rip this off because now it makes it easier for me to rip that off. It's okay if some of the staples are still in there. Because um, they're going to be covered up anyhow. And then this gets put back into the chair anyhow and you'll never even see this part of it. Throw all this stuff away. And this. You don't need this anymore. Alright, so now I have a nice clean seat. I have some leftover poly mister batting here. So what I'm going to do <clears throat> set this right here on this. I'm going to mark it. what color I'm gonna go just outside of this because I want that to be caught in um, with the fabric and I will do yet another cut to trim everything up once I get it on the chair and it all stapled on. This is just going to give a bit of fill for those stuff staples. This I will put in my waste bag that gets used for making uh, dog and cat beds for the Humane Society. Okay, so I so for some reason, the camera turned off. I'm not quite sure why, but I guess it'll shut off after four minutes. So I took this lovely fabric that I had that was a bed skirt around my, my bed, and I have since changed it to something else but I still have the fabric and I love it and it coordinates with the fabric that I have in the room that these go in. Um, this I already redid. I redid it earlier. Um, for this you have to worry about the way your pattern is and I was going through that but my camera turned off so um, I have to make sure that my pattern is correct because it's hanging on the wall right it's a piece of art grant granted it's a functional piece of art um, but 
you have to make sure that the pattern is correct. With this, I don't have to worry about the pattern being correct because it's just a lovely batik. So it can be any old way. But make sure that if your pattern, your fabric does have a pattern, that it's directional and that it'll work with the way that you're doing it. And also for when you're putting it onto the stool if you're going to be hanging it up. So what I did is I cut out my batting, I cut out the piece of fabric, and so I started to do each corner. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is the fourth corner. And then now I'm gonna go ahead around, stapling here and there, making sure I pull it taut because you don't want it loose on the other side. If it's loose, then it's, it will come off and be, it'll almost invite your children to, to do again. But the nice thing is, is this is not vinyl, so they're not going to be able to poke holes in it. My, uh, out of staples. So I'm just going to go around, finishing up this little bit. Oops, went through two staples. I really want to try and get the, the batting and fabric there. I want them far enough down that they're not um, going to show. So now I'm going to take my scissors again. I'm going to come around and... Now I have to be aware that there's, don't know what you would exactly call that. Uh, it's not really like a rivet. It's not a screw, of course. That's my husband, he would know. Mr. Mechanical. Again, I want to make sure. Hit the maximum again. Silly camera. Doesn't it know that I'm taping? And things don't go in just four minute sections. Okay, so now this, I'm actually going to come back. I'm going to put a couple in here. Keep this kind of down a little bit more. I really want it to stay. Okay, so now I have a great seat. So I take this chair, I line up my those little pieces with the holes on the bottom of the chair. And I am just going to do one little knock. And it's in. I'm going to do another one. This one. Another one. This one. And another one over here. And I have a lovely covered stool again and they don't look all crazy with little pieces taken out of them from children i'll show you a nice picture of where they look where they are and how they look all right 
Go create something.